In today's shortcut, we'll be discussing Korean Airlines' acquisition of Ashana Airlines. The main reason behind the takeover is to stabilize the airline industry, which has been battered by travel restrictions from COVID-19. Following the announcement of the acquisition, Han jin Kao said, Korean Airlines as well as Ashana Airlines could be placed in a dangerous situation if COVID-19 continues. The mega carrier will become the world's number seven carrier by capacity to transport passengers and cargo, according to 2019 IATN numbers provided by Korea Development Bank. Revenues for the combined entity is estimated at 15 trillion won. To actually acquire Ajana Airlines, Korean Airlines needs the approval from the Fair Trade Commission. As of late last year, the combined domestic market shares was 62.5%. The figure includes the market shares of their budget carriers. It also needs to win the approval from overseas authorities in destination jurisdictions. They each operate budget carriers. Korean Airlines operate Jin Air, while Ashana Airlines has Air Busan and Air Seoul as its subsidiaries. They will be merged into a single budget carrier. When the three LCCs are operated under one airline, its sales are expected to surpass that of Jeju Air, which is currently the biggest budget carrier in Korea. Government-owned KDB will invest 500 billion won in Hanjin Kao and buy 300 billion won of the company's exchangeable bonds. Hanjin Kao will then buy 730 billion won of new shares to be issued by Korean Airlines. Their airline is increasing its capital by 2.5 trillion won. Korean Airlines will then use 1.8 trillion won of the newly raised capital to become the biggest shareholder of Ashana Airlines. A single legacy carrier means it can secure more routes and operate more efficiently, lowering costs for the airline's operation. As of November, there are 48 international routes where Korean Airlines and Ajana Airlines cooperate. The mega carrier could disperse the timing of the overlapping routes, offering more options to transit passengers. Based on the stronger presence in the market, the mega carrier could also form joint ventures with overseas airlines. This would enable them to enjoy a combined network of destinations. One of the biggest concerns is employment. Unions of both Korean Airlines and Ashana Airlines argue that acquisition could result in layoffs. Despite promises made by KDB and Hanjin Kao Chairman Chu Won Tae to keep jobs at both companies, about 800 to 1,000 jobs are duplicated. The acquisition is also being challenged by Korea Corporate Governance Improvement, it leads a coalition challenging Chu Won Tae's control of Hanjin Kao. The coalition owns around 46% of Hanjin Kao. Chu Won Tae and his allies own around 41% of Hanjin Kao. That calculation assumes that Delta Airlines, which owns 14.9% of the stock, will support Cho. Delta has never commented on how it will vote. The coalition also believes that KDB will vote with Cho. Travelers can enjoy integrated loyalty programs. This means passengers who own Ashana Airlines mileage points can use those points to purchase plane tickets offered by Korean Airlines. And despite there being only one FSC, some believe it won't result in the increase of airline ticket prices because air travel is an international business.